Welcome to the first in the series of Mark and Dave's Lifting the Lid. And for those of you that don't know us, I'm Mark. And I'm Dave. And over the coming months, we are going to be lifting the lid uh, on uh, a number of components. One to let you see just exactly what is inside the components that you're thinking about buying or have bought. Uh, and maybe to explain a bit about what's gone into the design process, uh, give you our views on what we think of those components in terms of the quality, we'll discuss the sound, we'll show you what it sounds like, and we'll kind of talk you through the spec and um, let you see if it's something that you might be interested in. So the very first one uh, is here today, uh, is all the way from Australia, um, and these are handmade in Australia actually, uh, from a company called Burson and this particular uh, product is the Conductor Virtuoso V2 Plus which is a DAC headphone amp and preamp and it's the first time Burson has graced our portfolio um, so Dave, maybe just give Burson a little introduction here T tell, tell everyone at home, comfortable on their couch, uh, probably switched off by now actually. <laughs> They've turned off and gone and listened to some music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so Burson. Yeah, so Burson, as Mark says, I hand uh, assembled in Australia. The majority of the products are put together in house. Obviously, components are sourced from different manufacturers, and we'll go through that in a second. Um, I think what's important actually, you've Mark's touched on it that. This is a new product to our portfolio here at Elite Audio and it's really important that you folks at home understand that we don't take products on, on a whim. They go through quite a rigorous evaluation process. Uh, many companies actually approach us, but almost weekly we'll have an email from a company that maybe wants us to distribute the product or sell their product and a lot of them, you know, mentioning their names, we, we turn down because they don't live up to the hype or the name or what they say the product will do for the, the consumer in terms of either functionality I think that's a fair sound. point because Dave's right, we do get asked to take on a lot of products. Uh, there was a DAC that we were asked to evaluate last year which um, would have retailed probably around about £6,500 which is really expensive. We got it over, we put it through our due diligence uh, tests, compared it against its peer group and it just didn't make the grade. So for something, for it to appear in our portfolio, for you to see it on our website, for us to be sat here talking about it, it has to be something special. And you know, without sort of jumping the gun on this product, this is something really special. Yeah. Um, I mean, even from the moment it arrived, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. you remember the van pulled up, we knew it was here because we'd had a notification from UPS to tell us it was literally on our doorstep, but the guy got lost. Yeah, he did. Uh, he <laughs> couldn't find us. So we, we knew it was literally seconds away. Um, and But the one thing, and, and we, we, we speak about this often here, and we see it um, with part exchange components, uh, new products that we take on, let's just talk slightly geekily for a second about product packaging. Yeah, sure. Well, obviously the delivery arrived and the first thing we noticed was the packing of the actual packaging. Well, you I know, noticed how sweaty the driver was. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty heavy. Um, yes. And when you've got multiple units in one box, it's really heavy. But uh, the one thing that, that we really liked was, you know, when this lands on your doorstep, if you go ahead and purchase one of these units, the actual packaging is fantastic. Then when you open the box and you're graced with a Burson product, the weight of it, the feel of it, you know, it's really tactile, it, it feels great, it, it it's looks weighty. great, it is weighty. I it's mean, really heavy. That's, you know, for a DAC preamp, yeah. this, there's some serious heft in here actually. There's a lot of weight in it, a lot of that is down to the quality of the aluminium that's, that builds the chassis and the enclosure. You've then got these two hefty transformers, 70 watts each, which we'll talk about in a second. 
but yeah, the overall quality and feel of it, you can see where your money's gone, which oh, for sure. you don't get with a lot of And it is interesting when you, when you open the box, you see even just the, the, the care and attention, and the attention to detail of the packing. I know we're kind of labouring the point, but there's some products that we see, um, you know, we take a lot of part exchanges, and you know, you see packing that you know they yeah, that's robust. You could chuck it out the airplane on route from the factory. In fact, we were joking, saying that you could actually burst and save a bit of money and just drop ship it straight from the plane <laughs> into our car park, and it would it would be in the same condition that it left the factory. There's other uh, components that we see as trade-ins, and literally, it would, if it was in its box right now and it fell off this table, I'd be seriously concerned that it would, it would still be in one piece. So, I've got to say. All credit to Burson, you know, not only have they designed a really nice product, but they've thought about every aspect of it. And it's that attention to detail that shows that someone actually has a passion and really cares about what they're doing. So, um, to recap, it's, it's, it's really three components in one. We've got a, a really outstanding headphone amp. And just to very quickly talk about that, Dave, 8 watts output? 8 watts output, um, pure class A. Uh, which a lot of people that like headphones, well, you know, the class of amplifier divides opinion on hi-fi, like most things in hi-fi, but most of our customers that have headphones like the idea of a class A headphone amp and to have 8 watts. Well, you could, you could drive. It will drive anything. You could drive speakers. I mean, there's no speaker terminals on here, but if there were, you put, yeah. what, I don't know, 96 dB speakers, you could drive them. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Um, Pair of clutch Heresy 3s, something like that. Yeah, you could you, easily you could drive a pair of speakers with the yeah. power output of this particular amp. Much of that is down to the transformers. Mm. You've got two 70 watt high density transformers. In simple terms, high density transformer. If you put it side by side with a standard transformer, there's basically more windings sure. on the transformer. <coughs> and it's fair to say that from our own experience and some of the best products we have in our portfolio, the, the foundational element of that product is usually the transformer part. Yeah, it's not just that, because there's lots more than just transformers to go sure. in there. But it's a good start. When I mean, you see that, you start to build a level of confidence about something. Yeah, for sure. The mains, again, and, and hi-fi is a, is a big contentious subject, and people will spend thousands on mains cables. The last meter between your power outlet and your mains conditioner, then a mains conditioner, then a further mains lead into a component. Yeah. And ultimately, you know, any component, electrical component, uh, electronic component within a, an item is susceptible to the, the, the voltage and the, the current that it draws and the, the power that's been fed. So having two really well-made transformers within a product means that those items can perform at their very best. And they do. And I think we'll just maybe take a few minutes uh, to talk about um, some of the internal components here because, and Dave, I was, we were chatting about this earlier and I actually said to Dave, and this is true, I mean this here, this is actually, this is a work of art. If you look in there, there's something <laughs> really, I think I've not had enough coffee today, maybe too much coffee, but there's something really aesthetically pleasing about this. And I could actually, you could put a glass cover on top of that, Dave, and hang it on your wall. And, you know, dinner parties, friends round for drinks, people would come up to that and they would, they would, you know, they would, they would comment on how nice that looks inside. Put it back down at the table, man. <laughs> no, it would, trust me, it does. it's beautiful, it actually really is. Um, so just, Dave, just take us through um, some of the <laughs> some internal components before more people actually hit the pause button on, on the, the YouTube video. Okay, so yeah, as I mentioned, the two transformers. So this is the master clock here, uh, almost in the centre of this board here that's elevated up. Um, next to that, you've got the Sabre ESS 32-bit DAC chip, one of the most advanced in the world. You've got seven, within this board there's actually seven low noise uh, power supplies and then in this area here this is where you've got the pure class A uh, completely discrete output stage and it's actually based on a V5 uh, op amp, one of Burson's products. So that that is impressive by level in fact very quickly I'm going to ask uh, John Reid who is our uh, in-house uh, digital specialist just to pop up on screen right now for you 
the full specification so you can actually see it all there in black and white. But just two, th two more things very quickly. Um, one is just to talk about the volume control. Now I know this is you know, something that is again comes into geek level, but, and I'm sure you've all done this, when you get a component, whether it's a preamp, an integrated amp, headphone amp, the first thing that, and I've seen it at hi-fi shows, people come in and the first thing they do is they go, oh, yeah, that's, that's good. And I tell you what, that's a tactile experience all in itself there. I mean, you just cannot help yourself but want yeah. to twist that knob. It's, it's, it feels really good. It does, and it's, it's a Texas Instruments uh, volume control and uh, bursting. Yeah, um, impressive have actually said that there's no mechanical components with inside, there's no breakdown there, um, but yeah, it feels absolutely great. It's got 120 dB uh, range. Yeah, that, it, that's, that, I mean, 120 dB dynamic range, it's just a number, but in, when you actually put this into practice and you're using this, you start to appreciate just how good it sounds. I mean, it's great sounding. And if we just, we're just going to rotate this round here a second, if you look at the back here, we're just going to talk you through the connectivity of this. Um, USB input? Yeah, so there's a USB input for, you know, connecting any USB audio product. So, you know, a lot of people use a Mac or a PC straight into a, a DAC. allows you to do that. There's an XMOS interface, which is really a world reference standard for interfaces. You don't have to worry about drivers in 99% no, of the cases. That's, and that's Important. Yeah, it's plug and play pretty Plus, much. Plus, it's Sabre chipset, 32-bit, yep. DSD, there's not file format, you can't play. No, it's, it will do. Handle anything you can you can throw at it. And, I mean, we've got you know, the, the standard you know, SPDIF input, um, your TOS-like input, but, and this is something which you probably think, well, yeah, it's got analog input, so what? But, you'd be surprised how many DAC pre's out there don't have these. They just don't have them, so it's digital or nothing. And if yeah. you've got a turntable, what are you going to do? Another preamp. But why would you want to do that? Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah. Um, so the, the advantage is you can have a preamp that handles a couple, two, or analog uh, devices, so a turntable, tape deck, whatever it is you happen to have, as well as your digital sources as well. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a great feature and just adds to the flexibility of the product. And then finally, we've got two outputs here, pre-out stage and DAC output stage. What's the difference, Dave? So the, the pre-out uses the Texas Instruments uh, volume control and the DAC out uses the volume through the DSP and the DAC chip. Uh, contentious issue, hi-fi again, as much as we touched on mains and the arguments that thrown up earlier, cables as well, but another argument is whether something is digital or analog, you know, whether you're a vinyl fan or a digital fan or class D or class A valve or, you know, transistors and, you know, this really splits opinion. Well, it's interesting because I will hold my hand up and say that before I heard this and I saw the two options, Straight away, I'll be pre out. Yeah, DAC out. It'll be okay. I, can, I, I was actually trying to think, why would you want to use that? And um, we've done the comparisons, and we've done them extensively, back and forward, back and forward, and it's kind of, it's divided the elite audio team in terms of, you know, and this actually highlights the subjectivity, if you like, of listening. Uh, I would have, I would have put money that I'd have preferred the pre out, and I have to say that. I, yeah, I can eat all those words right now because when we've done the tests, I honestly prefer the DAC out. I felt there was more air and space. Um, interestingly, you could put the volume a bit higher so there was less gain, uh, which I guess you would expect that to be the case. I was concerned with the DAC out that you would get some kind of sound compression, that um, you would lose some of the dynamic range, the separation wouldn't be so good. But, you know, I preferred that. What about yourself, Dave? What was your impressions the, the same broadly the same the greater uh, sense of harmonic information you know the the decay of strings just that little bit better with the, the DAC out so and it was yeah. a surprise you others um, Rachel preferred the, the pre out um, I think Martin preferred the pre out so there you go you know and it just shows again there's no right or wrong no and it does show this it's the only person's opinion that matters is your own that is for absolute certain um it sounds great it retails at 1595 and it's peer group 
it's impressive, you know, three components. And it, they, we were chatting about this earlier before we started doing this video, and, and Dave actually made a really valid point, and that is that you couldn't buy a headphone amp that would do as well for £500. No. You couldn't buy a preamp that would sound as good for 500 and you certainly couldn't buy a DAC that would sound as good for 500 So there we go, the Burson Conductor Virtuoso V2 Plus, three units in one as we said, well in fact, as I said, it's actually four units in one. Really? Yeah, because we've got, and I know I keep going about this, but come on, that is a work of art. It really is a work of art. I mean, I've actually hang up there, just about. Yeah, we could. Um, and utterly incredible value at 1590. I mean, it's, it's crazy value. It is great value, Mark, as you've said, and uh, it's three units in one. Don't be tempted to put it on the wall. It's far too heavy, um, but yeah, it is. It's great value, as we've already discussed. You know, to try and get a headphone amp of that quality and calibre with a DAC and a preamp, you just won't do it. There's no other no, product. No, I, I agree. That can give you that flexibility. And a five-year warranty. Five-year warranty, and of course that's backed with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Indeed. As well. So you've got a no-risk home trial option. We'll also give you an amazing part exchange, so if you have something currently and you're thinking about upgrading, you know, give us a call, let us show you what, how easy that changeover or painless that can be, and also we can do interest-free credit as well. Yeah, it's a great option, and you know we've always got a, a healthy supply of second user or pre-loved uh, kit available as well, and that's a testament to the quality of the products that we retail. Yeah, sure. Um, so. Very briefly, Dave, would this get Dave's stamp of approval? Yeah, 100%. And it would definitely get mine. I think it's quite some time since I've been so really incredibly impressed with the product. All our products are great. I mean, genuinely, I think we are so fortunate that the, the equipment we work with, the, you know, the build quality, the sound quality, and this is just a perfect addition. You know, it just fits in nicely with what else we do. It doesn't really compete directly with anything else, and it just sounds great. You know, we're talking about the tactile aspect of the build. I mean, this volume control, you could just sit and twiddle on that all day. You could, honestly, it just feels great. So, come in and have a listen. Trust your own ears. See what you think. As we've already said, you can try it at home. There's no risk option there for you. You're going to love this, for sure. It comes in silver as well, and we've got them in stock right now. Yeah. So... Thank you for watching. As we said, this is the first in a series of Mark and Dave's Lifting the Lid, where I said we are literally going to lift the lid off equipment and talk to you about it. And we will look forward to speaking to you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. What are you doing, Dave? Dave? What are you doing? Just trying it. See, I told you it looked good hanging in the wall, didn't I? Yeah, well, I had to try it. You'd have to try it, Dave. You got that picture hook kit? Yeah, it's... Martin's got it through the back. I won't get it now. Yeah, perfect. This is okay. heavy. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, any, any time now? It's fine. It's no rush. I'm going to drop it. <laughs>